By the end of this session, you should have a better understanding of how recording devices work. This section takes a look at the Tascam DR40, which can produce good quality audio at a reasonable cost, providing XLR inputs for balanced audio recordings. The device is battery powered and runs on three AA batteries. Audio is recorded onto an SD card. There are two stereo microphones that can record in XY or AB positions. Alternatively, external microphones can be used via balanced XLR cables, which can be either phantom powered or battery powered. Ensure that you do not mix both power sources as this can damage the microphone and recorder. A jack plug using the line import allows unbalanced recording to be produced. It is important to ensure that the recording levels are not too high in this mode, as distortion will be introduced. To set audio recording levels, there is a plus and minus thumb button that is easily operated. There is a switch to choose line, mic, or mic plus phantom. The record modes are easy to access on the front panel. On many recorders, there are options to record audio as MP3 or WAV files. I would highly recommend recording everything as WAV files, as MP3 files are really just a distribution format which is highly compressed. WAV files are uncompressed using pulse code modulation, that is PCM, providing maximum quality. With a little extra money, the Zoom H4n offers similar features. Though less expensive devices are available, their lack of XLR inputs can limit you to just using onboard microphones, reintroducing similar issues to using the camera's onboard mics. Headphones should always be used to monitor recordings and playback. Closed ear headphones help to prevent sound coming from the speakers, being re-recorded and causing feedback through the mic. Earplugs and headphones that rest on the ears are not really suitable. In this session, we have looked at how recording devices work. For this exercise, I would encourage you to practice as much as possible with your chosen recording device. The more you understand how to use it, the more confident you will be in competently using the recorder. It is important to use a range of microphones to learn how each one has its own particular characteristics in recording audio. It is important to learn how to listen and recognize the different aspects of the audio being recorded so that, if necessary, in post-production, you will know what can be removed and what might need to be re-recorded. In the next video, we will look at how audio is recorded digitally and audio recording levels.